viewers and listeners. On today's COVID-19 update, Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony discusses the benefits of pregnant and breastfeeding women taking the Pfizer vaccine to protect themselves against COVID-19. So the side effects are minimal. Um, what we know happen when you get a vac vaccine at the site, some people might experience a little bit of pain. Uh, some persons might have a little bit of headache. Some people might get fever. Uh, but these things don't last. They go for 24 to 36 hours, after which everything returns back to normal. Um, all the data now that we have pertaining to these vaccines is that it's safe during pregnancy. So whether it's in the first three months, second uh, three months, or the last three months, it is safe uh, throughout the pregnancy. So at what point you choose to get the vaccine, it doesn't matter. You can get the vaccine uh, so as to protect yourself. The benefits are a number of things. One, if you, during pregnancy, uh, most women would be more at risk uh, for COVID-19. So if you are immunized uh, with one of the COVID vaccines, and in this instance, if you like to get the Pfizer vaccine, we are giving it, um, we are making it available. But once you get immunized, um, it protects you. It reduces your chance of uh, getting infected it reduces your chance of being hospitalized with the most severe form of COVID and reduce your chance of death. And I think these are three of the main benefits that you can derive from the vaccine. Of course, um, when the baby is born and you're breastfeeding the baby, the antibodies that your body would have produced would also pass through the breast milk uh, so that the baby would have some form of immunity as well. So that's another benefit that one can derive from taking the vaccine. Minister Anthony expressed hope that the recently rolled out campaign to target pregnant and breastfeeding women will be a success. I, I think we are going to get an increase. Um, what I've seen since we have launched is that there have been additional interests and a lot of women have been showing interest in getting vaccinated. They've been asking a lot of questions. And as we roll it out to different regions, I expect that we'll have higher uptake. We have also been working with the private hospitals and the doctors at those hospitals have been promoting um, for pregnant women to and breastfeeding women to get vaccinated. So I think that's a good initiative and I, I am very hopeful that the 14,000 or so women that normally get pregnant during a year, that most of them would get vaccinated. The health minister says the country's COVID-19 vaccination campaign for both adults and adolescents is progressing well. Right now, we are at uh, 367,645 uh, first doses. Um, this is for our adult population. So we are currently at 71.7% of our adult population receiving a first dose vaccine. We have also administered uh, 223,148 uh, doses, uh, second doses. Uh, that would now put, put the number at 43.5% of our adult population would have been fully vaccinated. Uh, in terms of the Pfizer vaccine, we have administered to date 25,787 uh, doses. That's about 35.4% of that age cohort between 12 and 18. And second dose, 15,196, that's about 20.8% uh, of that age cohort. Meanwhile, Dr. Anthony noted that the ministry continues to monitor active COVID-19 cases across the country. The numbers have been slowly coming down because last week we were trending at uh, approximately 2,000 cases in um, Region 4. That has come down a little bit, so we are now at 1,710 cases in, in Region 4. 
So there's a slight decrease um, in, in Region 4. However, we see uh, an increase in Region 2. Um, there are more cases in Region 2, uh, so that's creeping up a little bit. Region 10, the numbers are going up in 10, the numbers are going up in 7, and we have seen a slight increase in Region 1. This has been today's COVID-19 update. For more information, visit our website dpi.gov.gy or health.gov.gy and our social media platforms.